G'day. In today's video, I'm opening up a Acer E410M, also known as an E410MA. And this particular one, I'm opening it up and going to be put in a WD Blue NVMe SSD to expand the storage on it. It does have MMC memory, which is built in memory. To begin with, we're going to have to use a standard Phillips head screwdriver and take out the six big screws along here and the four big screws along the front. That'll look something like this. Now I've already done that on this one. And with those removed, we should be able to pry it open. So I'll start at the back, try to get a nail in there. One moment. Nope, don't know what Siri's talking about over there. There we go. And once we can pry this open, have a thin pry tool. Go. It should open up. In this particular one, there's very little in the way of upgradability. We can change the Wi Fi adapter, we can add an NVMe SSD to upgrade the storage, we potentially change the battery, but the RAM cannot be upgraded on this particular one. Now, to get to install the SSD, we'll want to remove the battery or at least disconnect it. Slide this bit of metal to the right and then pull up and back. And that should disconnect there. I did find that this one already came in with the NVMe installed, but it was floating around loose, so I'm not sure what the story was there. I believe the screw was missing here. Quick look around, I can't find an actual screw that's meant to be for it. But, but we'll proceed with the install. I'm going to put this in on a better 45 degree angle, push it in and pull down. There is a notch here which matches over to here. So slide that in. We're not even 45, probably close to about a 15 degree angle. And with it lined up like that, I want to find a screw to put into there. I'm assuming it would have come in the box or potentially already been there from the factory, but being that this was floating around internally, I will now hunt for one. There we go, so I found a screw that should fit. This is just off another old laptop. There we go. That's now locked that NVMe drive into position. From here I can reconnect the battery. You can either set this up as a secondary drive inside the machine or do a full reinstall of Windows onto that and then wipe the, MB, uh, the MMC, which I believe would yield a better performance by having the operating system on here compared to the internal storage. But once you've got it in there, physically, and the battery is reconnected, we can pretty much seal this back up once more. So I'll flip this over, connect this up, Go, work my way around. I'm just pinching it, squishing it together. There we go. And then from here, it's a matter of putting those screws back in. Being this one was already missing two screws, I'm going to focus on the outer perimeter. Also, there we go. Connected. Especially these topped hinge corners. Always put the screws in the hinges. If you're very low on screws, they're the best spot to put them, as that has the most amount of movement to them. Okay, along the front here. And that's now got some upgraded, upgraded storage in this uh, Zeus E410MA. Hope this helps, and I'll catch you guys in another video. Bye.